Okay, I'm getting ready to put the first piece of drywall up for my daughter's art studio. I'm double checking measurements and we're about ready to go. If you notice on the end of the wall down there at the corner, at the above the corner of the, the windows, you'll see three little eight inch long pieces of two by four. They're screwed to the studs about an inch and a half down and I'm going to use those as a ledger to set the drywall on as I put it up to the ceiling. And the girls are going to go ahead and uh, hold it in place at the other edge, thusly. Um, it's a simple way to get the drywall in place and hold it. And when you got a couple of, of healthy young ladies that are willing to help, it makes it pretty easy. Yes, I know they make a machine for this, but I was going to need the machine for a couple of days, and it would have cost almost as much to rent it as it would to buy the thing. Um, just not practical. Besides, as I said, I got a, a, my daughters, um, they're just hanging around on the weekend. I'll put them to work. Besides, my daughter promised me that she would help me work on this as we worked on her art studio. And she's been helping me all along the way. The only thing I haven't had her do is uh, the insulation. I didn't want their, her out there while I was doing that. Now you can see the girls are all prepped out in safety gear. They got their hair covered. They got dust masks on. They got eye protection. And I told them to wear the gloves I bought them, but them being intelligent young ladies didn't think they needed them. Anyway, you'll see how work, that works out later. Now I moved those two by fours um, to the next edge of the uh, drywall. And... What I'm going to do is, uh, once I cut this hole out for the heat duct, I'll slide them right up in there between the 2x4 uh, the and, the, and the ceiling joists. And the girls will hold it in place, and we will just repeat this last process. A little screws, a little glue, and another piece of drywall up. I don't think I could do this as fast with the machine. By the time I got the drywall on the machine, physically located, in position, ready to put the screws in, I don't think I could do it as fast. This is a very quick method if you got a small space and you got some help. Now, my daughter got a splinter. I did tell her to wear those gloves. Here, here I am doing the, uh, the doctor dad thing as I incise that uh, splinter. It was probably four or five feet long the way she reacted anyway. She's a bit dramatic at this age. I bet you'll see her wearing gloves pretty soon. Anyway, we're putting the final screws in, and I'm going to relocate those uh, two by four wedges, as you can see. And uh, what that's going to do is give me my next next lip to slide the next piece of drywall on. And here's from the other angle. And you can see the room is actually quite long. It's about 50 foot long, but it's only 8 foot wide. So there we go, slide that one up, uh, put the screws in, the girls are doing their job. Notice the, uh, the red gloves on my youngest. No more splinters. Anyway, there's a door frame there and that's going to lead into the other part of the, the barn that I'm going to redo as an entrance. Right now it's just unfinished space, unheated. Um, Last piece of drywall for the ceiling, it's a two foot wide piece, so we now have a total of 14 foot of length and a about eight foot five inches of width. So it's a reasonably nice space. Now we're getting the end wall. Um, get the glue on, set a sheet in place. The girls have been a big help. They've, they've helped out a lot. I can't complain about that a bit. The girls really do help me when I need them. Not that they want to be there, but when I say, hey, I need your help, they, they don't complain. They just come and help. But they're hoping I don't ask if I, to help. So, Okay, so we're going to mark out where the windows are, and we'll saw those out in a little bit. Now we'll get the bottom sheet in. Now I'm putting this in traditionally for this end wall. Um, I had to buy 10-foot lengths of drywall so I wouldn't have any end joints to to mud and sand 
I am not really good at doing drywall and I don't mind doing the edges very easy but those end joints I cannot do worth a bean so I don't mind cutting off an inch or a foot and a half of the drywall and throwing it away if it means I don't have to do an end. Now there's my daughter sanding or um, I'm sorry she's uh, cutting out the windows. At first she thought it was really great to cut holes in the uh, the drywall but you're going to see in a minute that it's not as great as she thinks it is. So here's a, a real-time video of her cutting out the upper window. You, I think you'll enjoy. Good job. <laughs> Okay, now have to step down off the ladder. I'm not no, no, step down off the ladder. Move the ladder over a little bit. Because huh? when you start leaning out over the edge of the ladder, you're not strong anymore. Huh? Give yourself some. There you go. This is all I'm doing. I'm done. <laughs> we only have three more windows, so it's okay. <laughs> three? One, two, three. Well, I two for you. So I put all the windows in your room, so I wouldn't have to do this. It's good for your arms. Also. My arms hurt. I have more muscles. <laughs> yeah, they're dirty. Construction. I'm gonna run my battery down if you don't hurry up. I'm trying. Almost there. The celebratory moment is about to be upon us. Almost there. <laughs> Here, give me the saw blade, honey. I'll hold it for you. Yay! Congratulations! Your first window cut out. Second. Second. Well, you gotta get this one, too. I'm not doing that. Alright, well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I mean, she's 13. She tries hard. But she's got that 13-year-old attitude. Her big sister was uh, teasing her about it can't be that hard. So... It was her sister's turn to cut the drywall out, so I hope you enjoy this as much as her little sister. Just take it out. Yay! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Seriously. Uh, the girls working together is always entertaining. Um, they work good together, but they're girls, so, you know, they can, they can banter back and forth. 
this is the uh, the last wall that needs to be done. Uh, it's the north wall of the building, and it abuts my office and the bathroom in the pole barn. I like to use OSB for for partition walls just because it's it's nice and strong, and I can attach things to it, and I don't have to worry about uh, you know mounting brackets and shelves and things like that. So. Anyway, we're finishing up these walls. Uh, we're getting the, the windows cu openings cut. The girls are working good together. They're kind of tag team and me. One will cut, one will sit on her phone. Then the other one will sit on the phone and then the other one will cut the drywall. Doesn't matter. Help is help. And they do, they do help, so I can't complain. So that's the last piece of the south wall. It's two foot, and uh, what that will give me is a, a uh, 14 foot long room, about eight and a half foot wide. It's perfectly good for an art studio. Now this is a, a fascinating. This is the uh, the partition wall between the other part of this section of the pole barn and my daughter's art studio. The barn is 50 by 50, so it's a, it's a fairly nice size for my my space. And uh, that other section is going to be used as an entranceway with a uh, drafting area, kitchenette, place to sit and relax, and a nice clean space when you enter the barn. Kind of different. So it's, uh, like I said, it's my pole barn. It's my workshop. It's what I want, so that's how I'm building it. And I'm sharing it with my daughter now, it seems. So now we're about ready to finish up the, the last sheet of drywall. And uh, the girls are going to hang it. Yep, that's the best looking drywall crew I've ever hired. Well, the only one that you've ever had. Actually, I've hired people to draw drywall before. But if I could get you guys to do it for free, <laughs> that's cheaper. Besides, this is your art room, little girl. This is your art studio, so you have to put some sweat into it too, dear. Well, when you're working on your own project, a little sweat and blood is good for you. And you, you already put the blood in the other day with the splinter. All right. <laughs> See? Need to put one in the center, sweetie. Really? Okay. Yeah, because that's yeah. You've got one. That's enough. Deborah's putting in the last screw, and then we can celebrate. <laughs> this one here. Yep. Yeah, we did it. Faith. Give me some passion. It's your art room, sweetheart. It's my dance. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, here I'm just putting up the corner moldings. Now, I'm using the steel 90-degree corner that uh, come with the paper on them to make the corners know, so nice and perfect because I'm not really good with paper tape. So I, I chose the easy way. And, of course, my daughter come out, and uh, she's helping to... Uh, oh, there's the ceiling. How'd that get in there? Anyway, um, that's what the ceiling looks like. There's the uh, heat vent. So she's going to sand down all the screw holes, make sure that they're flat and uh, flush, and fill them in with any mud that needs to be done. We're rapidly getting to the point where we can put paint on the walls. It'll be a nice milestone. Anyway, 
the the last of the drywall is done the last of the edging is done with all the the mud work and finally we will be able to do a light sand and the primer coat maybe Sunday don't know for sure but uh, depends on how fast it dries you know humidity and temperature a big issue now here's the ceiling corners going in um, like I said I'm using those 90 degree corners uh, they're steel formed paper tape on them uh, they make for real beautiful corners because I can't use the paper tape stuff they're easy to use I don't know if you've ever used them before but if you're ever going to do uh, drywall you might want to consider spending a little extra money for the home gamer they, they make for a nice quality results where paper tape is a headache Anyway, thank you for watching. This is only part one of several parts. Um, next is paint. Here's my crew. Very proud of them. Thank you, you for watching. Good. No, don't put your fingers in front of them, honey. All right, hit stop. All right, hit stop.